we now we now know who ran who who ran that mess on in the Capitol on January sixth. We're pointing them out now. If you don't want to be singled out, if you don't want to be judged, if you don't want to be punished for that kind of behavior, don't exhibit that kind of behavior. They need to catch every one of those fools. When that fool said, proud boys, stand by, stand down, but stand by. So they stood by and they didn't stand down. They stood by the oath keepers. What in the devil oath are they keeping to keep America white? Let me tell you something. <laughs> America, in the United States of America, what we call white people will be a numerical minority within 30 years. That is the, those are the demographics of this country. And that is the reason Donald Trump got elected because a man named Ben Wattenberg wrote a book in 1987. He's a brilliant Jewish male, absolutely brilliant, but he wrote a book in which the first chapter, the first paragraph of the first page said, the major problem confronting the United States today is there aren't enough white babies being born in this country. If we don't change this and change it soon, this Amer uh, white people will be a numerical minority in this country and this will no longer be a white man's land. He goes on to say that in 1987, 60% of the fetuses that were born in this country that were, aborted, that were aborted in this country were white. If we could keep that 60% alive, that would solve our birth dearth. Then he says, well, there are three ways to solve this problem. And he deals with the problem of abortion. And he says, the second thing we could do is, realize, is increase the number of immigrants allowed into the country. Then he says, unfortunately, the vast number, the vast majority of those people wanting to come to this country today are people of color. So we don't want to do that. He said, the first thing he said we could do is realize that people in the Western European nations have been paying women to have babies for many years. He says, unfortunately, we would have to pay women of all colors to have babies, so we don't want to do that. Then he talks about the immigration, the vast majority of those when he come to this country are people of color. And then the third thing he talks about is abortion. 60% of the fetuses that are abortion every year are white. People, we need to realize that those that information is what he gave to presidents of the United States. He was an advisor to presidents of the United States. He was a member of the American Enterprise Institute. You have to realize that that brilliant man gave really bad advice and he wrote a really bad book. And I was furious when I read the book and but I was delighted when I read the responses to that idea in the book. The responses he got were absolutely angry and totally, totally disrespectful of what he had written because what he had written doesn't deserve respect. So he rewrote the book and republished it. And the second version of that book is full of tables and graphs and charts and statistics. And I took, I bought it and I looked at it and I thought, boy, you idiot. Benjamin Disraeli said, there are three kinds of lies, lies, damn lies, and statistics. Now you can make statistics say whatever you want them to say. And evidently somebody read that book to Mr. Trump. He couldn't have read it. I'm sure he couldn't have read it. It's too difficult. But somebody must have told him what Ben Wattenberg believed. And so therefore we're building a wall along the Southern border of the United States because he says, you can't let those Browns. And he said this publicly more than once. You can't let those brown skinned people in because brown skinned people reproduce too rapidly. He knew what the demographics are. He thinks he thought, and some Republicans think that we can keep that from happening. No, you can't. You can try, but you can't do it. You also need to realize that since Mr. Trump was elected by a group of people who are afraid to lose their numerical majority, he also has managed to get most of the Planned Parenthood clinics closed because he is quite certain, oh, oh yes, he is quite certain that the only thing Planned Parenthood clinics do is offer abortion. That's not what they're about. Many things are made possible for women who go to Planned Parenthood clinics, women who can't afford some of the treatment that they need. They can't afford if they go to the, they can't afford it if they go through the regular channels, but they can get terrific treatment and advice from Planned Parenthood clinics. 
you need to realize that none of this is accidental. He, has, he was trying to keep women, white women, from having abortions.